Today we are talking burgers. Everyone loves a juicy, classic cheeseburger, but not everyone loves all of the fat and the calories that come with that. Today we're offering a healthy option, which we're calling burger in a bowl. Let's get started. So I've already started cooking up some lean ground beef, which is what we're using for the burger part of this bowl. If you wanna go extra lean, you can opt for some ground turkey, but today we're going with classic ground beef. And while this is cooking over here, we are gonna get started chopping up some of the romaine, which is the base of the burger bowl. This is a staple weeknight dinner on rotation at our house. It is so easy to make and you truly get the classic flavors of like an in and out cheeseburger. In each bite, you will just forget about the bun, truly. Okay, so we have our romaine all chopped. So we're gonna toss this into a bowl. That ground beef is just about done, so we are actually going to saute the red onion, which is a classic staple. You either love it or you hate it. They really taste great in this recipe, sauteed and softened. So that's what we're gonna do over here. We have about a half of a red onion chopped. We're going to add in just a little bit of olive oil for some flavor and to really saute these onions up. And then we're gonna just crank it down to a lower heat and let these guys simmer a little bit. So our sauteed onions are looking pretty good. So while all this finishes up over here, I'm going to make the sauce. What we have here is an avocado oil-based mayo. And then we have some classic ketchup. Sweet relish, which I was actually really surprised to find in the In-N-Out recipe, but it makes sense one teaspoon of yellow mustard, and one teaspoon of distilled white vinegar. Now we're just going to whisk together all the ingredients and the sauce will appear before your eyes. We're looking for kind of a darker pink color. It's gonna look really familiar if you are an In-N-Out fan. Sauce should be looking like this. See the little bits of sweet relish in there. Already smells so good. Now for the fun part, let's make some magic happen and put this burger bowl together. So we have our chopped romaine and I like to add in the ground beef first and I like to just put it in the center. And it's gotta look good, right? Next, let's add some pickles because the pickle is a classic staple on any burger. And then here I just have some classic shredded cheddar cheese. Optional, of course. Some halved cherry tomatoes. We have those sauteed onions that are still warm. This is personally my favorite part of the bowl. And this next part is completely optional. If you're really trying to make some healthy choices, maybe skip over this part. But for me personally, I love a little bit of bacon on my burger. So I cooked up some bacon earlier, chopped it up, and we're going to top it off on the burger bowl. Now it is time for the secret sauce, which is no longer a secret, but it really ties everything in together nicely. So we're just gonna do a nice little drizzle. And there you have it, the burger in a bowl, all of the classic staples that a cheeseburger has, all of the flavors, such a great low carb, easy weeknight dinner. You guys gotta try it and let us know what you think. We will see you in the next one.